my love of She-Hulk um, developed when I was a young girl, and I saw the cover of a She-Hulk in a sea of male comic book heroes, and I immediately related to her and wanted to be her, and I'm so grateful to be a part of bringing She-Hulk to the modern generation. Jennifer Walters becomes She-Hulk after an accident uh, that accidentally transfuses some of her cousin's blood into her blood. And she feels that these superpowers have been thrust upon her, and she really wants nothing to do with being a superhero. But life doesn't always work out exactly the way you want it to, and she ends up having to become a superhero. Jen Walters and Bruce Banner have a very sibling-like relationship. It's kind of like a big brother, little sister vibe. And when the two actors got together, they had such a playful energy, and we really capitalized that on that and let it inform the script. Mark and Tatiana talked on set about how wearing the gray mocap suits with the camera in the face made them feel other and kind of outside of the other actors and outside of the crew. And they really use that to bond. And it's a little bit of, um, you know, life imitating art, art imitating life. When you watch them together, they are the only two people in the world who understand what it's like to play the Hulk. And the Hulks are the only two Hulks who understand what it is to be a Hulk. Titania is a very evil Instagram influencer slash villainess and a new addition to the MCU. Jamila Jamil was the only choice for me. I'd worked with her before on Marry Me, and I knew that she could bring reality to a character that is so out there. She-Hulk is a real blend of genres. It's very funny and leads with comedy, but it's also got elements of drama and action, and suspense, and it also fits visually into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's about time that She-Hulk joined the female superheroes of the MCU, and I hope she's part of a mu movement to stop even saying female superheroes and just call them what they are, superheroes.